Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadonkster Bomb, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park predictions video. This is the final of the three early prediction videos for 2021 and this is Merlin Entertainment. Now, Alton Towers, Thorpe, Chessington, Gardaland and Heidi Park, all five parks predicted in this video. Legoland parks are not included, uh, however... Um, if you want me to do a video on Legoland Parks, then comment down below. I'd love to do a video on Legoland Parks and do the extra research for you guys. Uh, if you want to see me do a SeaWorld video, even though most, most of the stuff is pretty predictable anyway, again, comment down below. I'd love to expand on these. Um, and by the way, this theme park predictions playlist is going to get fully expanded uh, this year. We're going to do uh, different park prediction videos. It could be any other park in the UK, Europe. America. We're going to do loads of predictions. We're going to do some five-year plan videos as part of the predictions playlist. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a big playlist this summer. So please like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family on social media and make sure you guys get your questions in in the comments down below. Use the hashtag question before or after your question and make sure you get those in because it's for our 2,000 subscriber Q&A video when we hit that milestone of subscribers which will be massive. And for now guys, let's get into this video. So, this is the Million Entertainment's Early Predictions 2021. So let's start with your first park and that is the king of the UK, Alton Towers Resort. Now in 2020, they'll, well, I think, I think they're going to relaunch it in 2021. But Gangster Granny the Ride and the World of David Williams replacing Cloud Cuckoo Land will get relaunched in my opinion. I don't think they're going to be really anything new. I think they're going to relaunch the new area. But I think if they were going to do uh, a new attraction, I think they could do uh, some general park upgrades. So I think it could be... I think the Blade is going to come back in a brand new form. We're going to get a newly refurbished, rethemed, renamed Blade to fit better with the Forbidden Valley section. I think we're going to see a new kids ride, um, uh, either a Duplo Dream type coaster, which is a Mac Power coaster, a Mac Kids coaster like Bar Express, Eagle Park. I think we're going to see that in CBB's Land. There's a I saw on the app there's like an empty bit of green space, um, you know, with the with the CBB's Land. Uh, so it should be very interesting there. Uh, however, I, or, I, instead of that, I could also see Nina's Science Lab replaced in CBB's Land, as well as general refurbishments and improvements across the park. So I think it's going to be generally an off year for Alton Towers. I think they could start preparing for 2023, uh, and that'll be, in my opinion, the predicted year for Secret Weapon 9. Uh, I'm not sure what it could be, but I think that Secret Weapon 9 will happen in 2023, in my opinion. So let's move on then to Chessington World of Adventures. Now in 2020, going into 2021, they're going to introduce their Rainforest area, which is their uh, sort of refurbishment of their treetop hoppers, their new kids' log flume. Uh, and of course, uh, we've got Elmer's Flying Jumbo is relocated as well on the old blue and white carousel site. In 2021, of course, we know what's coming. It's going to be a drop tower on the site of Ramesses' Revenge, a croc-themed drop tower dropping into the crocodile's mouth. It looks like it could be a similar system uh, to Magma at Poulton's Park. It won't be the same style ride as Detonator in my opinion. I think it will be a Magma clone. Uh, so it should be very interesting to see that when it's finished. Moving in then to Gardaland Resort. So Legoland Water Park was introduced in 2020. In 2021, I think they're going to see some brand new family rides. So it could be a selection of new family rides and attractions as well as general park improvements. That's what we're looking at here. Moving in then to Heidi Park. Now, they introduced the Peppers Balloon Ride in 2020. And for 2021, I think we're going to see some general improvements. So paint-ups, changes, improvements to the park outlook, the park structure, and the overall park atmosphere. So just general improvements here and there. Same with Gardaland, just to, just to bring the atmosphere back to the park a little bit more than they already have. Finally, Thorpe Park. Now, in 2020, they're set to introduce Black Mirror Labyrinth, which is their walkthrough experience, theme to Black Mirror, uh, the Netflix show, replacing The Walking Dead Living Nightmare. In 2021, I think we're going to see some more new events aimed for families and children all across the world to come down to Thorpe Park for these events. But I think we're going to see some preparation work. Now, it could be as simple as replacing the Walking Dead licenseship, bringing back X, 
bringing in a brand new Fright Nights maze to replace the other Walking Dead Do or Die and theme it as an original uh, maze or bring in a new IP, maybe even a Black Mirror themed maze um, on the old Walking Dead Do or Die maze site. But I think we could see some major preparation work. I think Thought Parts Next Coaster will be in 2020. Uh, 3 or 2024, it depends when Secret Weapon 9 opens, because I know the old Million Entertainment system is, you know, open one major edition every year at one park, uh, so each park gets their turn in one year. Uh, so, it should be very interesting to see what happens, because of course there was a news article a couple of days ago to do with this COVID-19 crisis that Million Entertainment, you know, the headline was something on the lines of, you know, there were, you know, there's warnings of their possible uncertainty after this crisis, so, um, it's not going to be major additions in 2021. I think it should be general park improvements. I think if we are going to see a new attraction anywhere, it will be at Chessington with um, their new drop tower. And I think they're going to relaunch the rainforest area at the same time. Uh, however, and that's why I sort of, compared to the 6,000 Cedar Fair videos, that's why I haven't gone into much detail about these projects. Because I think that basically 2021 is going to be a relaunch of 2020. Now whether that means the drop targets pushed back to 2022, it could be the case. But I think that Chessington, if they do decide to open the drop tower in 2021 as well, but later on, like a couple of months, a few months after the rainforest area opens, I think Chessington is going to have a really outstanding year next year relaunching that rainforest area for kids those who haven't experienced it yet um or you know relaunched it to the public and then you know introducing this drop tower on Ramesses revenge on the old flying jumbo site which has been you know that's been relocated to allow construction into the Ramesses revenge site um so i think forbidden kin is going to get a whole new look to it in 2021 so i think the drop tower will come in 2021 but i think they're going to also give a huge relaunch to the rainforest area that they didn't get to do in 2020 this sort of allowed it for the pass holders but you know it was yeah it, it just it just didn't happen it just didn't relaunch in my opinion so i think they're going to relaunch it next year along with the new drop tower same with alton towers thought park all the parks around the world are going to relaunch their 2020 projects Williams World's going to relaunch in 2021. Black Mirror Labyrinth, same story at Thorpe Park. I think there's going to be many other relaunches across the world at other parks as well. Uh, so I think 2021 is basically going to be a relaunch of 2020 in my opinion. Uh, so, and to be fair, I didn't say it on the other two prediction videos for Six Flags and Cedar Fair, but I do believe that uh, they are just going to relaunch those projects. So this could be some of the predictions could not be true because they're going to relaunch 2020 projects that didn't get to open. Uh, so there's a real possibility that could happen here. Uh, so thank you very much guys for watching this theme park predictions video from Milan Entertainment. That's it for your early predictions videos. Come back in a couple of months to this playlist and you'll see our mid-season predictions. Uh, see if they've changed, see what's happened since the last time. And of course we're going to uh, sort of come up with some more specific predictions compared to now. But these are just broad predictions for now. These are just an overall general look to them. Uh, so thank you very much guys for watching this theme park predictions video. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now guys, my name is Coach Shell, keep on the ghost life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care guys, I'm Nelson. Awesome.